in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about what is your center. And now after you pick and find out which one is your center, I want you to put it in the comments below, or if not, you can DM it to me and we can talk more a little bit about it and what this book says about it. But this is pretty much how you operate on a day to day basis. Now, let me just get started. Go straight into the video. Like I said, comment which, which center you are and which one relates to you the most. Now, if you are spouse centered, number one, your feelings of security are based on the way your spouse treats you. You make decisions based on what you think is best for your marriage or your mate or to the preferences and opinions of your spouse. Your life perspective surrounds things that may positively negative or negatively influence your spousal relationship. Your power to act is limited by weaknesses in your spouse and in yourself. Next one, family centered. If you're family centered, your security is founded on family acceptance and fulfilling family expectations. Family scripting is your source of correct attitude and behaviors. Your decision making is, is what is good for the family or what family members want. You interpret all of life in terms of your family, creating a partial understanding and family narcissism. Your actions are limited by family models and traditions. Number three, if you're a money centered, your personal worth is determined by your net worth. You're vulnerable to anything that threatens your economic security. Profit is your decision making criterion. Money making is the lens through which life is seen and understood, creating imbalanced judgment. You are restricted to what you can accomplish with your money and your limited vision. If you're a work centered, you tend to define yourself by your occupation or role. You are only comfortable when you are working. You make your decisions based on the needs and expectations of your work. You tend to be limited to your work role. You save your work. You see your work, you see your work as your life, pretty much. Your actions are limited by work role models, occupation opportunities, organizational constraints, your boss's perceptions, and your possible inability at some point in your life to do the particular work. If you're possession oriented, your security is based on your reputation, your social status, the intangible, no, the tangible things that you possess. You make your decisions based on what will protect, increase, or better display your possessions. You see the world in terms of, com of comparative, economic, and social relationships. You function with the limits of what you can buy or the social prominence you can achieve. If you're pleasure-centered, centered, you feel secure only when you're on a pleasure high. You make your decisions based on what will give you the most pleasure. You see the world in terms of what is in it for me, aka you. Um, your power is almost negligible. Your security is short-lived, anesthetized, ah, I don't know that word, and dependent on your environment. If you're friend-centered, number seven, your security is a function of the social mirror. You're highly dependent on the opinion of others. Your decision-making criterion is what will they think? You're easily embarrassed. You see the world through a social lens. You are limited by your social comfort zone. Your actions are as fickle as opinion. Enemy centered. Number eight, your security is volatile based on the movements of your enemy. You are, a count, you are counter dependently guided by your enemy's actions. You make your decisions based on what will thwart your enemy. Your judgment is narrow and distorted. You're defensive, overreactive, and over paranoid. The little power you have comes from anger, envy, resentment, vengeance, negative energy that shrivels and destroys leaving energy for a little else. Number nine, church centered. Your security is based on church activity and on the esteem in which you are held by those in authority or influence in your church. You are guided by how others will evaluate your actions in context of the church teachings and expectations. You see the world of terms of believers and non-believers, belongers and non-belongers. Last but not least, if you're self-centered, your security is constantly changing and shifting. Your judgment criteria is if it feels good, what I want, what I need, what's in it for me. You view the world by how decisions, circumstances, or events will affect you. Your ability is to act only to your resources without benefits or interdependency. So it's more about just you. Now, those are the 10 centered. Let me know which one, or I guess talk to yourself about it, which one you are mainly centered in and tag a friend at which you think they're self they're centered in we're all mainly in one area and this is how we operate our life and this is how we see life so this can affect how we talk to people argue with people or this is how our, our perception may come off to other people so hope you enjoyed this video can't wait to see you in the next one like i said tag a friend comment 
let them know, hey, you're, you seem like more of this, I think I'm more of this, and just talk about it. It's really good to notify which one you are so you can know how you kind of operate throughout life. So thanks for watching this video, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. I'll see you in the next one.